please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked on any scores, and we're live. Hey everybody, so it's time for another episode of Enforcer Hall of Fame here where I induct great NHL enforcers into their own Hall of Fame because obviously they have no chance of getting into the actual Hockey Hall of Fame. And today we're going to be talking about one of the... What's the word I'm looking for? More underrated, I guess, fighters from the 90s in the NHL. Longtime St. Louis Blue, Kelly Chase. And before we get into it, I just ask that you please uh, hit that subscribe button if you are new and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already as both of those things really, really help out a lot and are very much appreciated. But let's get into it here. Kelly Chase, who I think is kind of a forgotten fighter, was a right winger in the NHL um, through the uh, starting in the late 80s and then through the 90s. And uh, he actually had a pretty darn good NHL career for, for an enforcer fight-wise with uh, over 2,000 penalty minutes and almost uh, uh, 200 career fights in his career. So let's get into it here, looking at the numbers for Kelly Chase. He only ever played 458 games in the NHL, but when he was playing, he was likely fighting. Uh, he only scored 17 goals and 36 assists over the course of his career for 53 career points, but he had 2,017 penalty minutes um, Obviously, for only playing 458 games, having 2,017 penalty minutes is a lot. And that just shows you how active Kelly Chase was as a fighter. Um, over the course of his career, he fought 174 times. That's regular season and postseason combined. His most active year came his rookie season in the NHL, which was 1989-90 where he had 25 fights. He had 24 in the regular season and one in the playoffs that year. His best offensive season came in his second to last NHL year, which was 1998-99, where he had 10 points, three goals, and seven assists on the season. And that was the most he ever got in a single year. Um, obviously, he was not there to put up points. He was not there to score goals. His role in the lineup was to be an enforcer in fight. He played 11 seasons in the NHL. Out of those 11 seasons, six times he reached the 200 penalty minute mark. So more than half of his NHL career, he hit over 200 penalty minutes in a season. And 10 out of those 11 seasons, all but one, he went over the 100 penalty minute mark. Obviously just shows how active of a fighter he was and shows how you know he reached over 2,000 penalty minutes in less than 500 games played because when he was playing, he was racking up the penalty minutes. Now, he is best known for his time with the St. Louis Blues. That is certainly where he spent most of his career. I would say his best years and his most remembered years were his first stint with the St. Louis Blues, which came from 1989 through 1994. Then he played uh, with the Hartford Whalers for a few years from 1994 to 1996. The 1996-97 season, he split between Hartford and Toronto, and then he went back to St. Louis to end his career from 1997 to 2000, and then after the 2000 season, um, obviously he retired and was done at the NHL level and uh, was out of the league. So 11 season career for Kelly Chase, which is not bad at all for a, uh, for a fighter and for an enforcer. He's definitely stuck around and he was a very active fighter. He was usually around 20 fights per season or so. Uh, which is obviously a, a pretty high amount considering nowadays nobody reaches 20 fights in a season. Um, you know, that obviously was a little bit different back then, but he was always a very willing, active fighter. And, uh, you know, is definitely well known as, you know, as a St. Louis Blue. I just feel like overall, though, when it comes to, we think about, you know, past enforcers and past fighters in the NHL, I think he's a little bit forgotten and a little bit underrated. Um, and, you know, during a time in the 90s when fighting was extremely prevalent in the NHL and, you know, a lot of, I, I don't want to say every game had a fight because statistically that's not true, but, uh, you know, a lot of games had fights. He was one of those guys that was out there on a nightly basis pretty much dropping the gloves and, and uh, very involved physically. So 
That is uh, Kelly Chase, guys. He is now inducted into my Enforcer Hall of Fame. 11 years in the NHL, 458 games, over 2,000 penalty minutes, 174 career fights. Certainly deserving. One of the tougher guys of the 1990s in the NHL and a very, very solid career. So there it is, Kelly Chase. With that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.